My name is David Goldblatt. I'm South African. I've lived in South Africa all of my life. Photography has for me been the means by which I have come to deal with being a South African. Making photographs demands on the one hand that you see reality with a kind of coherence and on the other hand it provides the opportunity the license for looking at reality in ways that are not normally permitted to us. I can look at social situations in South Africa, as I did, for example, in Boxburg, with an intensity and a focus that would be difficult otherwise. In 1976, I had been in the United States and in Canada, and wherever I went, People wanted to know who were the whites of South Africa. What were you doing that had aroused this sudden revolution by students in 1976? Boxburg is a small town very close to Johannesburg where I live. I realized that in fact Boxburg was tantamount to a microcosm, a microcosmic look at the whites of South Africa. Boxburg held a, a whole complex, a whole bundle of qualities that for me spoke of South Africa. It had to do with the light. We have a harsh, sharp, intense light where I live. It has to do with the land, which is largely grassland and barren. It has to do with the way we did regulate life in South Africa at that time. It was highly regulated. Blacks were not allowed to own land in this town of Boxburg. It was exclusively uh, for the possession of whites. In fact, of course, the largest part of the population was black. But blacks were not allowed into the town unless they had a pass which was literally a passport in the country of their own birth that allowed them under certain conditions, very, very tightly specified conditions, to come into the town of Boxburg, possibly to work there, um, whereas whites lived there by right. I was born with a white skin and so I could move freely into Boxburg. I didn't need a permit. So these were the conditions under which black people lived and white people. And this is what I attempted really to speak about in that essay. I somehow needed to convey in photographs how normal in an international sense life in Boxburg was and yet how insanely abnormal it was. Abnormal beyond, beyond any belief, beyond anything you can imagine. You have to understand that I photographed not for you. I photographed for my compatriots, my fellow South Africans, black and white. I hoped that they would sense from these photographs a sense of our madness. And so the imperatives then were driven by that, by that understanding of the existence of that place in that light at that time and those people. Because they were my own people, I come from this. I was opening up my own life, my own background, and looking at it microscopically. It was painful. Yeah.